What's up, Rock Squad? You know, it's your girl, Rock, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. So, on Friday, I didn't upload. I didn't. And on Monday, I didn't upload. Oh, did I upload Friday? It's one of those days I didn't upload. I know I didn't upload on Monday, so it might have been broke for those days, but I'm not sure. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the Rock Squad. If you've been with me for a while, welcome back. And today, I will be talking about things that I can do now that I couldn't do before, like as far as me when my hip was collapsed. So things I can do now versus the things I couldn't do before. So before I could not lift my leg up completely like this. So my leg wasn't able to even lift up off the floor. So I'm very thankful that I can now do this with my legs I can also do this but as you guys probably can see uh, it don't go all the way down so I'm still working on getting it all the way down and if I act blind I am y'all I cannot see so <laughs> yeah see this one goes down like this and this one still is a little up some so I still got some work to do with that before I wasn't able to bend down to touch my toes and now I can bend down and touch my toes. Now I can actually even put on my socks, y'all. For a while, I had to have someone else put on my socks for me. And it really sucked. But I am so thankful that I am progressing. Um, if you do need a hip replacement, they telling you need a hip replacement, get it. It's very beneficial. It helps. Well, it helps, I guess, if you need it. I, like, I have AVN. If you guys don't know what that is, it's when the blood died. The blood is no blood flow around your joint and the bone dies so that's pretty much what it is and when the bone dies it collapses because it's no blood it's no fluid around it so yeah um, so I'm very thankful for the things that I can do uh, it's just so uh, it's just like a fresh a breath air that now I can do a lot of things by myself because depending on someone um, you don't really know how many things you do until you can't do those things no more. So guys, be thankful. Be thankful for everything that you have in your life. Your legs, your arms, the voice to talk. Be thankful for everything because not using my legs and not being able to use my legs make me, made me wake up. Like, appreciate your legs because I, at one point I could not walk at all. Um, at one point I couldn't even turn over without the pain. I couldn't even yawn without having pain. Y'all, it was just so much that contributed to my legs. I couldn't even do ab workouts because of my pain. So be thankful for the things that you do have because some people don't get a second chance to do those things. And I am a walking testimony. Um, I smile because I've, I've came a long way. And you probably hear me say that in a lot of my videos. But it's true. I've came a long way. I'm actually running now. Um, I'm just doing all different types of stuff guys so I'm very happy and motivated to continue to live my life healthy um, if you don't know I do everything holistically so I see a doctor and I do have a doctor who I communicate with if I need my like, certain medications he can get me those medications or if certain things go wrong he know how to handle those things but then I also have a holistic doctor who I go to for everything else like vitamins supplements those type of things because I don't take medication like that and I do not take medications like that simply because that's how I got AVN I was on steroids trying to get my ulcerative colitis into remission and being that I was on steroids for a long period of time it caused the AVN in both my hips and both my knees so if I can prevent medicine I try to at all costs like no because you got to understand that medicine is only there to help with that one thing but then cause other problems in your body that you're unaware of sometimes and I was unaware that it would cause me to get ABN I did not think that that would have happened but then you know you, you can't think something you got to know that that it's not gonna happen so be mindful of the medication you guys are taking and the medication and doctors put you on make sure you read up on them and if anything is in it saying you're going to get AVN or this can develop, make you have cancer or whatever the case may be. Make sure you know that that's a possibility. It's likely to happen. Um, 
because if I knew what I know now, I wouldn't have never gotten on it. But back then I didn't know. You all live and you learn. You can't punish yourself with the things that you are currently learning, you know. We all make mistakes. We all wish we can go, well, no, I don't. Now, I don't wish I can go back in time and change anything. Um, I'm, I'm grateful for the life I live. I'm grateful for all the experiences I've had. I'm grateful that I got ulcerative colitis because if I didn't get ulcerative colitis, I probably would have still been out here working, 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 hurting myself more. Um, so yeah, I'm very thankful for all the life lessons I've had, um, all the things that put me down and then the way I got myself back up. He just need, God wanted me to know that I am strong. Anything I go through, I am strong. I can conquer it. So with that being said, Stay positive, stay blessed, and be safe out here, guys. Um, if you if you are on any medications, know the risk and know the outcomes that it can cause before it gets too late. You know. Um, also, eating healthy is a main thing. It's a real thing. That's just the God honest truth. Like I had to literally change my lifestyle. Um, do not call it a diet if you're planning on doing it for the rest of your life because it's not a diet it's a lifestyle change and I want to put that into our brains and your brains because we often get discouraged when it's a diet or you know we we don't complete it because we call it a diet if you call it a lifestyle change it'll become easier for you to adapt to it that's just something that's going to be in your lifestyle now you know um always and don't do something to where it's not always available you know like for me i'm gluten free every a lot of places have gluten free um i know how to cook my stuff so i don't have no problem with that it'll always be something that i can eat you know what i'm saying so make sure whatever you're choosing to do is you can always do it you don't have to be like oh well they don't have this so i gotta convert to that no make sure that it's all you can always do so pick something that you know that you can do and will do and will fight to do because our lives matter and a lot of times we don't think that what was I about to say dang I forgot what I was about to say but we don't think that food contributes to a lot of things that we have going on and that's false food contributes to a lot of things we have going on and depending on what you eat like meat Meat is not a good thing for us to be eating, but some people can handle it more than others. And if you're one of those people that can handle it, cool, fine, dandy. You know, but know that things are being put in our meat to make things go wrong in our bodies. So that's something else. People are putting stuff in our meats so that other things can happen in our bodies like cancer. Um, um, what else could happen? Just stuff like that, viruses, those type of things. So just be mindful of what you're consuming and what's around you and how things are being cooked and all that. So that's why one reason why I'm so adamant about cooking my own foods because I know how I cook my food. I know it's gonna be well done. I know I wash my hands before I cook it. I know it's on a clean plate. I know ain't nothing I put into this food that's gonna hurt my stomach. So that's why I love cooking my own food and that's just what makes me keep going as far as cooking my foods. It's because, you know, I know that I'm not a dirty person, you know? So, it, it I clean eat, everything's clean. So, if that can help you, I hope it does, to eat at home and to cook at home. Even if you don't know how to cook, learn there's so many recipes out here that actually tastes good and i got a lot of things that i printed off that i'm about to try this week i can't have anything with sauce so of course i won't have mine with sauce but i printed some things this is for my daughter she wants so she i mean i let my daughter pick and choose what she wants to eat because she's still a kid you know i rather her to eat healthy but she has to see me doing it in order for her to want to do it you know a lot of times she do say mom can i have some and I'll fix her something. She's like, oh, that's good. So I still have her eating healthy too, but it's her choice to eat healthy. I'm not gonna force nobody to eat like how I eat. You know, I you know, she's been used she's been used to the foods that she's been eating since she was younger. You know, it's not I can't just go and do a whole 360 on her life, and I'm not. So yeah, that's pizza with some shrimp and rice. 
They got some pizza bagels for breakfast. So it's like certain things that I just, you know, printed off. And then I got some stuff that don't even have, um, I got protein uh, protein box where it's just apples, celery, carrots, eggs, boiled eggs at that. Cheese, I don't eat cheese, so, and, and almond butter. So yeah, I just got different things to keep me motivated and trying different food. Well, I'm not even trying different foods, so I shouldn't say that. Just keep me motivated and cooking at home and eating at home because it's better. Better outcome, better everything, guys. So. Yeah, I don't know where this video is going. I hope I didn't bore you guys with this video, but yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment something positive down below. Be safe, stay strong, stay positive, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh yeah, make sure you check out Just Right Customs merch, clothing, and copy you a t-shirt. I'll see you guys in my next one. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.